Hello, my name is Paul Henry, Security and Forensic Analyst at Lumension. Welcome to our Patch Tuesday update for June 2011. Well, there will be clearly no summer holiday for IT pros. With 16 bulletins issued from Microsoft today, this month isn't as big as April, thankfully, but it is still sizable and certainly disruptive as it affects applications across the board. Today we have nine critical bulletins, MS 11038, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 50, and 52, and the vast majority directly requiring a reboot. This marks the beginning of a long summer for IT professionals with no room for slowing down. Now four of today's critical and a few of the important patches affect Windows. Seven critical and three important patches affect Internet Explorer, and with this Patch Tuesday, we're seeing Internet Explorer 9 affected for the first time. Now, that being said, IE 9 isn't as much of a concern as IE 6, which often seems to be the lowest common denominator in security issues today. It is absolutely imperative that people download the newer version of IE in order to take full advantage of the more secure code base from Microsoft. The SMB issue, MS11039, is another important patch and deserves some priority. The server issue, MS11048, is just a DOS vector, but if you're running the client, like I said, that will be a high priority. We also have a number of kernel updates that impact the Windows product family. They are a priority as well, and they do include some additional protections for SMB at the kernel level. Now, there's also a patch, again, for MHTML issues, MS11037. It's to mitigate cross-site scripting issues, and as this is a popular threat vector today, it really is a priority. Now, the Office Excel patch, MS11045, it's also a hot patch, as Excel has historically been a delivery mechanism or vehicle for spear phishing. One of the more interesting patches this Patch Tuesday is the patch for Hyper-V. MS-11047, as it's one of the first released for the product. It covers a denial of service issue. We also have high priority patches from other vendors this Patch Tuesday period. Adobe is releasing security updates tomorrow for critical bugs lurking in Adobe Reader for Windows, Adobe Reader for Mac, and Adobe Acrobat for Windows and Mac platforms. On June 8th, we also had Java patches released from Oracle. The company released critical patches to fix 17 security vulnerabilities across the Java Standard Edition products. Oracle released a statement saying, due to the threat posed by a successful attack, Oracle strongly recommends that customers apply fixes as soon as possible. Looking at other vendor browser updates for this Patch Tuesday period, Google's release of a new version of Chrome on June 8th as part of their six-week release cycle included fixes for multiple vulnerabilities, and added additional security enhancements. Mozilla appears to have abandoned its small security fixes altogether and is rumored to be merging those patches into its regular browser update releases, which will of course occur every six weeks once the latest version of Firefox is released on June 24th. It's important to note that there's only been one maintenance update for Firefox 4 since its release on March 22nd. This has been our Patch Tuesday update for June 2011. Thank you for listening.